hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel hope you all will be fine uh, first of all i would like to thank you all for supporting me and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and i request you to watch the full video it's me then the financial analyst and i will tell you about what's happening in the iraq and uh, when actually the revaluation is happening and all the news is related to iraqi dinar revaluation so without wasting our time let's start the video in recent news a significant development is taking place within iraq's financial system particularly concerning the exchange rates and the management of foreign currency the central bank of iraq cbi is preparing to issue new decisions that will likely shake up the parallel market. These decisions aim to curb currency smuggling and prevent the hoarding or monopolization of foreign currency by opportunistic individuals or groups. The key takeaway here is that the central bank is focused on protecting Iraq's economy by regulating how foreign currency is traded within the country. Let's break this down further. First, what exactly is the parallel market? Simply put, it's an unofficial market where foreign currencies are traded at exchange rates that differ from the official rates set by the government. The parallel market in Iraq has been a significant issue because it creates two sets of prices for the same currency, one that the government controls and another that operates under less transparent conditions. This often leads to currency being smuggled out of the country or monopolized by those who exploit the disparity for personal gain. Now, with the central bank's upcoming decisions, we can expect this parallel market to face disruption. While details about the specific measures are not yet clear, the fact that the central bank is targeting currency smuggling and monopolization suggests a tightening of controls. The CBI is likely looking at more stringent regulations for foreign currency traders, possibly introducing new mechanisms that will make it harder for currency to flow out of Iraq illegally. This is important because currency smuggling has a direct impact on the country's economy, especially on the strength of the Iraqi dinar. When foreign currency is smuggled out of Iraq, it reduces the availability of that currency within the domestic market. This can cause an artificial shortage, driving up the exchange rates in the parallel market. As a result, ordinary Iraqis face inflated prices for goods and services, particularly those tied to imports. By addressing this, the central bank aims to stabilize the currency exchange rates and ensure that the average Iraqi isn't negatively impacted by these manipulative practices. Furthermore, the central bank's efforts to stop the monopolization of foreign currency are crucial in maintaining economic stability. When a few individuals or groups gain control over large amounts of foreign currency, they can manipulate the market to their advantage. This often leads to fluctuations in exchange rates, creating uncertainty and undermining public confidence in the economy. By issuing new policies that limit these monopolies, the central bank is attempting to prevent a handful of players from holding the economy hostage. 